to the Rocket Man, Sam Champion, the fifth stop of our Seven Wonders of America tour, the embodiment of exploration. He's in Huntsville, Alabama. Sam, what you doing? Hi, Diane. Hi, Diane. Well, I, actually, we're still walking around inside here. Um, you imagine how much training it takes to be an explorer as a matter of, like, the astronauts will strap themselves into this gyroscope to get ready for space. So if you were going to live under the ocean, it would take a special kind of training as well, and that may be the next frontier. I had a chance to see the only underwater laboratory in the world, the Aquarius Laboratory. Not only see it, but go down there. So I want to take you along and show you what life for us may be like in the future. From diving deep into the ocean. You're ready for them to splash now. To a quarter of a million miles away. Eagle, we got you now. It's looking good, over. Curiosity has driven our nation's quest for exploration throughout history. America and young people grew up with the idea of what's beyond yonder hill. Let me go see what's there. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Now, in the 21st century, new challenges for discovery await us. Many say underwater exploration is the new frontier. With the ocean covering three quarters of our world, get this, a full 90% of it is yet to be explored. So there could be secrets under the ocean that could really help us in life that we have no clue about. You know, right now, we think that the ocean is the greatest untapped storehouse of potential drugs for curing human ailments. Our deep blue is also a rich source of food. Currently, 5% of the protein consumed by the world comes from the sea. But undiscovered marine plants and organisms offer the potential for new sources of food for the planet. With so much of the ocean unexplored, there's a ton to learn. Ellen Brager is the chief scientist at Aquarius, a facility devoted to learning more about the deep. It's located off Key Largo and is the only underwater research lab in the world. I had to see this for myself. We're all geared up. We're ready to go down to Aquarius for the first time. Diving down, I got a first-hand look at the extreme pressurized for humans habitat. 65 feet underwater, the air is piped in from the surface, allowing divers to live at the bottom of the ocean for two weeks straight. What's the whole point of, of physically being down here right. while we do the studies? There is nothing better than first-hand experience. Things on the ocean happen that we've never planned about in the office. Now, what's discovery? Discovery is not what you plan to see. Discovery are the surprises that happen because you're there. Researchers who stay here are called aquanauts, and the ocean around them, inner space. By being and studying the coral reef, we're getting an idea of not just individual corals or individual sponges, it's how they all act together in the real world. You might call this one small dive for man. Our oceans, what secrets do they hold? It's a question for the intrepid explorers who call this the last frontier on Earth.